Welcome back and if you just happen to tune in, a uh, very good morning and a warm welcome to Tuesday's edition of Rise and Shine. As promised, uh, we are back in studios uh, with our guests. As I told you at the very beginning, uh, they are not guests, uh, they are part of our own family at SLRC. Uh, well, Sharon, a very good morning to you. Good morning. Good morning. And uh, well, a good morning and welcome to Rise and Shine. Thank you very much. Very good morning to both of you as well. Well, um, Sharon, I'm not going to ask you that how we're doing early morning. Did you mention his name? He's yeah. first oh, yeah. time on Rise and Shine. Yeah, Dushan <laughs> Vas. Uh, I Thank mean, you. it's a household name. I mean, oh, anybody in yeah. all the uh, <laughs> corners of the island knows Dushan Vas. Uh, really? And, uh, well, Sharon, I'm not going to ask you how we're doing early morning, but uh, Vas, uh, I, as far as I know that you're not a morning person. Not so, at all, in fact, actually. Generally, it's around 7.30, 8 o'clock. The best. Because, you know, um, with the news and other, you know, functions and uh, the gatherings around, uh, generally wake, we wake up around, uh, say, uh, 7.38. So, uh, that's like the earliest. And, uh, yeah, it's kind of a, a strange wake-up call for me uh, this morning. At so least 7.38 is good rather than 9 or 10. Oh, uh, yeah. It's <laughs> like, why? Yeah. No, with the family commitments, I would say. <laughs> so, uh, was, uh, how are things... Uh, in life uh, good Birendra uh, uh, going on smoothly and uh, yes and uh, myself and Sharon uh, won the uh, this particular award uh, the best TV presenters for years uh, 2011 and 12 recently and uh, with that in fact actually the reception and uh, kind of the recognition that we are getting from the society and uh, the other even Parts. from uh, SLRC, yes, it's a uh, phenomenon. Mm -hmm. And uh, uh, of course, if you go to see, it's it's another big challenge that we have to look up ahead, uh, because uh, one by one, each task that we achieve, it takes us into a different level. So, and uh, sure we have the award uh, right uh, in front of us, and. Uh, this is actually uh, Vasa's Vasa award. Award. <laughs> I actually uh, forgot Sharon mine. has uh, forgotten the award, but uh, to bring it, uh, Vas, you won the award for year 2011, and that's your second consecutive. Uh, yeah, won it uh, for the year 2010 performance as well, and uh, this was 2011, and uh, Sharon won it for 2012. I was uh, very honoured to receive uh, the state award. It's my first, and uh, Vas would know more about it uh, we'll talk about uh, the award ceremony and other awards uh, we'll take a look at uh, this video clip and uh, we'll uh, talk about it further janaka rupa vahiniya nishpadane kala sunetra kumari adhyakshane kala rupa avalokaneya veda satahanai hondama pravruti nivedaka sammane himi vuye jatika rupa vahiniye nishadi bandara nayakata Ainalika ve Sharon Muskreen has Hondama Sampraveshaka Ingrisi Sammane Himikaragataya. Hondama Sampraveshaka Demala Sammania Netra Nalika ve Pradeep Cruz Himikaragataya. Oh. Hi. <laughs> so that's like? uh, Sharon winning the award. And uh, how is it like uh, winning the award? I mean you have won it uh, uh, won the Raigam Award uh, last year. So how did you feel? I mean, this was uh, unexpected. Uh, it was definitely said, unexpected yeah. and it was a state award. That's what was uh, the bigger achievement uh, in comparison to the Raigam Awards. So uh, it was a program presenting again, whereas uh, I had uh, huge heights on uh, news presenting. Let's see, next time we're a bigger, bigger, better target. So let's talk about the Raigam Award as well. So mm -hmm. yeah, uh, before that, we talk, yep. uh, we have a call we online. Have a call online. Hello. 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 Hi. Good morning. Good morning. Maybe not. Sharon, again, can you guess who this is? Uh, uh, his bulla. Sharon. Uh, uh. Yeah, she tells that you are his bulla. <laughs> this is Fazlulla. Fazlulla. I knew I <laughs> somewhere. <laughs> <laughs> good. It's very nice of you, and I would like to wish our channel I, the director, the the whole team, and also very special. Wishes to Dushan Tawaz and uh, my you. dear Sharon, all the best. And I would, I would, I would, would like to see some more awards you all are getting because you all have the the talent. You, you can't. You, and also, I can. I have seen uh, in uh, satellite channels, foreign channels, Indian and uh, 
other chance. But uh, you all have got uh, the real talent and uh, the way you all present things and uh, do, it's very nice. So my, my heartiest wishes uh, for Sharon and uh, Dushan Tawas. Thank you so much. Uh, I am Fazlullah from Gampola. Thank you. Bye-bye. Thank, thank you very, you very much, very Fazlullah. Much. Yep. Thank you so much for calling. Oh. I got somewhere there. Somewhere. <laughs> somewhere. <laughs> So, uh, Sharon, let's talk about the Raigam Award as well. So, um, Raigam, like I said, Raigam Award, uh, it was for last year, 2011, and that was also for program presenting. Uh, the main highlight was uh, the first award for Rise and Shine, and of course, uh, the Red Bull X Fighters, where I really have to thank uh, um, uh, Amantha, uh, uh, Patum, and uh, Asoka, who was behind the cameras. Uh, Amantha actually gave me the freedom of uh, giving me the mic and saying do your thing and that was how free it was and I, I knew that uh, it was clean of uh, easing it out because uh, you can free yourself and if you know what you're doing uh, you can do your best. Yep, okay. True enough. So now uh, I think uh, it's time for us to take a look at uh, Vaas uh, receiving yep. the award. All right. Hondam Sampraveshaka, Ingrisimadia Samania, Ainalika Ve, Dushan Vasta Himivia Hondam Gayane Sam. Yeah, was how, how, like, how do you feel like when you're winning the same award for the second time? I mean, it's a great achievement. Uh, yes, of course. In fact, actually, you know, uh, in front of uh, that kind of an August gathering, and, uh, and my name uh, was announced by another lovely presenter. Uh, who was the uh, winner of the uh, uh, 2012? Sharon announced my name, and uh, that was like you know my parents were there in the audience, and uh, it was a good experience. And uh, uh, yes, so that's how I felt it. Okay, awesome. uh, I think uh, it happened like the other way around for you as well. Uh, yeah, was yeah. announced your name. Yes, yes. So. Uh, and mind you, we didn't know the results until uh, we opened. That was the best the part of it. Envelope, yeah. So, uh, oh, yeah. was uh, t like just going back in the history. How did like uh, start presenting? Uh, it was way back at my school, uh, Dimension College, Kandana, and uh, should remember uh, one teacher who, in fact, actually because you know, a school uh, initially uh, uh, we were not you know brought up in kind of a net, kind of an English background. And, uh, but there was one teacher who uh, should remember his name, uh, uh, Mr. Hugh Opatha. He, in fact, actually taught me, especially to get this you know, vocabulary in place and the you know, good words in place. And a big thank you to him, uh, Mr. Hugh Opatha. And uh, after that, uh, I was at the uh, University of Kalania and then uh, started my career at the Sri Lanka Broadcasting Corporation. There, in fact, actually uh, one Mr. Anura Fonseca. He helped me a lot and uh, to get in uh, to uh, this uh, media sector, which was so competitive at that moment. And uh, to Rupa Mahin, in fact, actually it was an accident. Uh, I met uh, Mr. Faisal Bonso uh, uh, at one of the corridors at uh, SLBC. Uh, from there only that he said, uh, was why didn't you give it a try? Uh, because thank God I had, uh, like a, I had a pastry with me. Uh, it was wrapped uh, in a kind of an English newspaper, right? Uh, so he asked me to go through that uh, English newspaper to read that in front of him at the corridor. So uh, that was an accident and uh, he said, oh, you have a good tone, why don't you try? And so a big thank you to them, uh, Mr. Faisal, uh, uh, Mr. Fonseca and Mr. Opata. And right. while there's a caller online, yep. uh, right. we'll be Hello. back in conversation with you. Hello, good morning. Hello, Hello. good morning. Very good morning to you. May we know your name, please? Hello. 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 Yes, uh, I want to thank uh, both of the your TV presenters. Sure. Yes. TV presenters, when I, I am watching the your program every day, uh, we are. I, 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 he wants to thank uh, you too, I think. I want oh, okay. to <laughs> ask from you, man. I am from uh, far away places from uh, uh, down south. Right. All right. And so I, 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 I want to know how, how to improve English words. Uh, <laughs> yeah, ask and I think and, answer uh, on that. How to speak uh, like you. I want Just to please tell me about the Sri Lankan <laughs> my school children, uh, how to learn English. Uh, I want to know about, about both of them. 
Yeah, if you can give like few All tips. Right. Uh, yeah. I think it's actually Thank Sharon, so Sharon is good at it, that actually. I think she contacted a couple of uh, progress or Rupa Wahidi people as well. Uh, uh, yeah, uh, uh, not that I'm yeah, an elocution yeah, teacher or something. Spotlight, <laughs> he's putting you on spotlight. Yeah, he's yeah. putting me on the spot. Uh, what I would, uh, I, I'm sure Abbas would give another tip also. Um, read the daily newspaper, read it out loud, read it in front of a mirror. That would be the best way of uh, bringing out your projection, your voicings or whatever you have to do. Whether it's right or wrong, just try it out first as a basic start. And uh, try associating new friends and uh, make sure that you speak English itself. Uh, it's not that you speak different languages, then you won't get the hang of the subject or neither would you be speaking uh, the same language. Uh, so um, more on communication should be increased uh, when it comes to speaking amongst your friends. And uh, the simple thing is watch Rise and Shine and watch every <laughs> other program in and English. The English news on Channel <laughs> English Live. News yeah. on English Channel News on Channel Live. Yeah. Oh. Because uh, uh, we bring you the entertainment, we educate you as well. And uh, what more do you want when you have such good looking people on TV? <laughs> <laughs> okay. And, and one, one more thing. Yeah, one actually, more thing. Uh, the thing is actually enough, uh, when it comes to program presentation and news reading, totally different uh, two uh, games in fact. Because uh, one would say that the news reading is much easier because uh, we were given, uh, we are given generally the script just to read. But it's different. Uh, the, the, the news is uh, you have to read it with kind of a credibility and uh, when it comes to like the statistics and the data the presentation uh, plays a big role in it mm -hmm. so and at the same time the program presentation and live commentary because i have been part of all these and, and you are you are doing it now for especially this independence day celebrations the victory day celebrations uh, and uh, like the war news, war news reporting and all there the preparation the pre-preparation is very much important Right, you have to be accurate with statistics as well. Not just uh, stati statistics, because uh, you are though you are just talking to a camera which is in front of you, but you are talking to thousands of people who are behind the camera, mm -hmm. right? There you cannot make a mistake, so which is quite important. So uh, in that case, actually, what I follow is that uh, I do my rehearsals and I go in front of the camera with a uh, plan. Right, uh, so uh, there, I mean, you can't uh, do mistakes. So that's kind of uh, uh, one cardinal rule that I follow always. Mm -hmm. uh, we have another caller yep. online. Hello. Hello. Yeah, hello, good morning. Very good morning. Pradarshan from Karthi. Yeah, Pradarshan. You want uh, to speak to our guests? Yeah, Sharon. Uh, I want to I wanna wish again to, to Mr. Watt and uh, Sharon. Thank, Thank you, you very so much. Thank you so much. Thank you. You know, you know, like uh, Sharon <coughs> said, uh, they are entertained, they are educated. No, you are making excellent time every morning. Before mm -hmm. I go to the office, I watch you twice in time, no? Thank you very that much. Is, uh, it, it's a great boost for me. Seeing okay. Sharon on TV in the morning, yeah, I know. I wish you all the best for the Rice and Shine team, uh, for, a, you know, for a better month. Thank you Thank very you. much. Thank you very much, Pradarshan. Okay. Well, see, yep. rising sun. Mm -hmm. And uh, we are a boost. Yeah. Boost. <laughs> <laughs> energy, source of energy. <laughs> All right. Well, um, was, uh, like, uh, since Sharon has been uh, on Rise and Shine earlier, I'm not going to ask this question uh, again from her. Like, from Was, how did you feel like when you uh, first uh, presented the program on stage or behind a microphone or in front I of the camera? I can still remember my first presentation. Uh, uh, yeah, I did like a couple of uh, live commentaries uh, when uh, Sri Lanka hosted the South Asian Games way back in uh, 2008 or 9, if I'm not mistaken. And there I did like a couple of commentaries for volleyball games and some karate. And after that, my major, the first major challenge was uh, the Sri Lanka Development Forum, which was uh, held at Gaul. Uh, that was in 2008. There, I mean, that, that was like the uh, first major thing that I uh, hosted. And uh, we bought the live coverage uh, all the way from Lighthouse uh, Gaul. And uh, there, in fact, actually, I kind of, you know, rehearsed in front of a mirror and uh, what to say and uh, like, uh, like uh, the statistics, the data and everything. I rehearsed in front of the camera and by heart and everything, but which I'm going to deliver. <laughs> okay. So uh, that's uh, right. Vasu's have... success story. And uh, well, we have another, another caller call online. Hello. Hello. I think calls are coming for Sharon. A very good morning yes. to you. I'm very proud. Good morning. May we know your name, please? I am Rukshan from Maratua. Yeah, Rukshan. Yes, I want to wish uh, Vast and Sharon 
All the best. Thank you. Thank and you. my favorite program is Sunshine Sign. Oh. All the best to you both. <laughs> Thank God you so you. much. God bless you. I think uh, 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 Sunanda is hit the top, I guess, if she is watching this show right now, yeah. just to hear that so many people are watching. Uh, watching Sharon and Rise uh, and no, Shine. Watching yeah. Rise and Shine. <laughs> 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 All right, Sharon, let's go to how you started. I remember watching this uh, the last time you came on Rise and Shine, or I don't know, maybe Nuga 7. Uh, you happened to say, everybody used to say, uh, with uh, two little piggy tails of a ponytail, I'm not sure. That Chitty was Bartek. a joke made by Chitty the Bartek makeup Bartek. crew. <laughs> uh, no, it, was uh, it like? I didn't come with any pig, piggy tails or pigtails. <laughs> uh, but I was uh, plumpy and fat as usual. Um, I joined as a kid. It was a great thing done by uh, uh, the Sri Lanka uh, SLRC Children's Unit. Uh, it was Mrs. Anu Mavattaladeniya and uh, Auntie Nalini at that time. Uh, they were recruiting uh, the students from all schools of Colombo uh, to host for the International Children's Day. And uh, for this particular area, we uh, like there was a selection part. You were selected for interviews, and it was a task given for us to uh, experience the whole feel of media, which is uh, writing, reporting, and uh, on-set camera visual, etc. And uh, on the first. Uh, based experience, I can remember I had fever and I got selected by accident as well and uh, got the mic straight and first thing when I did the live coverage I did with so many mistakes and uh, when I did it the second round I understood okay this is what you have to say because it was without a single training and we mm -hmm. were just thrown in with the mic and uh, got the hang of it and thereafter I was called in for news and uh, that's how, that's how things the story changed. went on. Yeah, yeah that's yeah. how Sharon mastered this whole. Uh, well, uh, of course, I have to thank. Uh, it's through the programs and news presenting because, like Vas said, it's two different areas. Vas has the exposure of uh, handling the business and the development side yeah. aspect, <laughs> I suppose. And uh, in my area, it was more on the entertainment, and that's where I got very close to the crowd uh, by doing uh, live shows. So. Um, Music was what I did and it was a great feeling of uh, enlightening and enthusing the crowd. For how long have you been uh, in this field, Sharon? Uh, and we're coming to my age, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> no, <laughs> now that I'm old, it's just that I started by uh, the Six age years, of uh, 16, 17, yeah. uh, during that time straight after uh, okay. O levels and then uh, main news of course. That was with the Lama PT, right? Lama, yeah, yeah Lama news. And oh, yeah. uh, main news was uh, we commenced uh, in the year 2006. Uh -huh. So, something really, you know, matters. Um, I was just thinking anything unforgettable, like maybe within the past year, or of course there might be plenty, but something that comes to your mind right now. Something mm. unforgettable. Something unforgettable. There are, lot of <laughs> I think there are that so <laughs> many incidents. <laughs> incidents. I think the best incidents the, which <laughs> I have had is uh, uh, the exposure, thanks to SLRC again. Uh, I believe Vas and I have been exposed to a lot of uh, live coverage when it comes to uh, all the main events. And uh, my best was, I guess, the Southern Expressway opening. Uh, see, the, the thrill of uh, going live there and maybe the Hambantoto uh, port opening or whatever it is, uh, you're speaking to your audience and you're telling that this is the feeling that you have right now and expressing that is something uh, phenomenal. And my, the, the main, the, the, un, the kind of, kind of uh, the unforgettable experience was actually, uh, I had the opportunity, I had the chance of uh, doing the war news reporting uh, from the battlefield itself. Right, and I was there traveling with the. I can remember because I called him at that time. I was like, "Are you okay?" And I can he I can hear the gun uh, bullet noises going at the background. I'm like, "Is that sound effects or what?" <laughs> <laughs> right, and I traveled with the fire fire division of the Sri Lanka Army, and I traveled from like uh, Mirasubil up to Pudumathale, then to Chale and all. And it was a good experience, actually, and really good experience. And would like to thank, especially the current uh, director news, uh, Vijay Desanayaka, for giving me that opportunity. And uh, Amal Samanth helped me a lot for that as well. And it was a good, uh, good experience for me because I don't think that Sri Lanka will ever, ever face uh, a war in the near future. And no one will be able to get that experience again. <laughs> exactly.
Well, however, uh, Vijay also called myself an inurer to go and we were really excited at one point. <laughs> and we were like the pundits, like we didn't even tell our parents and we got ready for the whole thing. And then after that last minute we thought we should tell our parents and that's where, cut down, stay back. You're not going. <laughs> <laughs> well, that was like the 10th period that I yeah. went there, in fact. And uh, Which part did you go to? Topical or? No, no, from uh, Pudumatale Murusville to Chale. And uh, like uh, I myself you know, faced like the real battles, like four battles. And uh, uh, once I could hear the landing shots as well, right? Like, you know, just, just landing shots as well near my ear. Oh. And uh, so that was a good experience. Okay. Right. And. Uh, yeah, that's I think in 2008? Uh, 2008 and 9 both. Yeah, 8 and 9 both. So, uh, was, uh, you didn't tell us uh, how, did, how exactly did you feel like when you like, first performed in front of mine? Uh, uh, in fact, actually, I, uh, when I first read news, uh, I was almost falling from my chair. I was you know, kind of shivering a lot. Right? I can still remember the first mistake that I did. There was a sentence uh, like uh, 10,000 uh, tins of Nestor malt milk or something like that, right? And okay. uh, instead of T-I-N-S, I saw it a T-O-N-S. So, I said 10,000 tons of Nestor malt milk, right? Okay. Totally different meaning. So, that was like the first mistake I uh, the, the remembered one that, that I did. And uh, the first experience I read with uh, another female reader. Uh, and uh, it was uh, a good experience and again, uh, as I said, uh, almost falling from my chair. I was shivering like hell. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Sharon. Sharon, you have something to tell? No. Yeah. I'm just wondering, are you guys running out of questions? Why you <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no. Uh, like, uh, Sharon, you like... You a point. <laughs> yeah, I, I have more questions for Vas, but it's not like nice Why? to you keep... Why? You don't have uh, questions for me? <laughs> yeah, it's oh. not nice to keep Sharon silent. Like, people are yes, getting yes, up sorry. in the morning and <laughs> want to watch Sharon. I mean... Showing you, it's Come on. nice. No? Uh, I'm like there almost every day. <laughs> <laughs> so, Sharon, like, uh, how, how did you feel like on your first day on news? Uh, for me, it was uh, from Anoma Vatala Denia. It was uh, Sanjeeva Bhattwata who took me in. So, uh, I got to thank him in a big way because uh, one month of uh, dubbing scripts uh, was the experience that I got and doing sports news back to back for two or three years. And uh, from sports news, it was just a month. From there, I was into the main news roster. So I was literally ready, little by little. But uh, the whole hang of getting the political names correct and the ministers' names correct was the biggest challenge in my hand. <laughs> and uh, pronouncing the singular terms, especially when it comes to religious terms, uh, was a tough call. So um, that was that. And uh, I guess we're still learning. And uh, even uh, when it comes to the foreign scripts today, it's a big challenge for us to pronounce the correct pronunciation when it comes to reading the foreign scripts. So, um, challenges come every day and it's a matter of uh, working on it, reading, rehearsing and practicing. And you should go through all these, you know, there are like, you know, when it comes to uh, internet, right? And uh, it's always better to uh, spend something like uh, 20 minutes or half an hour in the morning going through all these uh, news web portals uh, and uh, update yourself because you know uh, it's always better and especially you know uh, if someone is aspiring to be like a news reader it's always better to get yourself updated with the latest technologies available especially when it comes to news because you know nowadays it's not uh, news media it's called new media right uh, so uh, in that sense uh, you need to update yourself because uh, we are living in an era where even Sri Lanka is moving forward and the the world is in a kind of uh, has become a challenging place to each and everyone so in that sense it's, it's always better to be updated and uh, m should move forward with the latest uh, innovations and technologies available so as uh, since you have won this award for two consecutive years so how has it been like uh, winning it for the second time amidst all those uh, big names in the industry oh and yes, in mean, fact, it's, actually, it's, I mean, yeah. I'm, I'm not a big name in the industry. No, no, no I'm, I'm talking actually. like amidst all those big names. Yes, yes, twice. yes. Yeah. yeah, it's it's a challenge, and the, the as Sharon mentioned, the challenge is not to win awards actually, to keep the standards and to move forward. That's like the biggest thing, 
right you know i mean we may win the balls today uh, we may lose the balls tomorrow but to uh, you should maintain your standards you mm-hmm. should maintain your policies and when it comes to especially the program presentation and news reading and uh, the standards should be maintained right throughout in your career i mean if you, uh, the by the time that you remember i mean the, that you come to know that you can't maintain your standards better to give up your job and to stay back right so uh, it's always you know uh, you should maintain your standards that's like the biggest challenge not just uh, no winning awards awards are there to recognize your service and uh, like your the career but to maintain standards is like the no utmost thing listen sure yeah and uh, totally sure, we have a call on line oh, okay. hello hello good morning very good, good morning. morning to you yes sir awaaz sam kiron then my i would like to uh, wish my congratulations for your award thank you go and go i was yeah good future uh we show the best uh, kiron men squad Thank, thank you so much thank you much thank you one thank you very much uh, sharon yeah one last question <laughs> what are the fr- what are the comments from your friends or maybe randomly meet people on the road and say ah oh, sharon hey how are you all? look that's uh, something like uh, i don't sharon like yeah. get caught with time you yeah, know yeah. so, so uh, i keep it short keep uh, keep but it short. i want to quickly uh, uh, touch up to what the boss said uh, you need to create your own style without just copying everyone mm-hmm. else's and that's where you can create a event, uh, difference and uh, linking up to what you asked uh, i think that's why i was created getting close to the fans by doing something different and that's why they go gaga in other words when they gaga, see me okay and uh, uh, finally in fact before we wrap up uh, as we are running out of time uh, big thank you to the director oh yeah. channel lai uh, and to it's the producer lie. and uh, big thank you to our parents uh, members of the family so thank you very much Yeah thank you very much boss thank, and thank you, you very much to both Sharon, of you as well uh, <laughs> and thank you very much boss for waking up uh, early morning and you waking welcome. up yeah and uh, Sharon and uh, it's it has been uh, an immense pleasure working with you for i mean i've been knowing boss for almost uh, since i joined group wine back in year 2008 so uh, even Sharon so it's time for us to wrap things up on Tuesday's edition of Rise and Shine well uh, have yourself a great day ahead of you take care bye bye